Hello friends, it's Victoria back with another um, December daily layout. This is day out, <laughs> layout day out, <laughs> layout number two of my December daily and I'm showing you um, my album and what I've decided to do was just kind of print pictures and go ahead and attach some things that I want to be using that I'm going to be using in my December daily. Um, so there, I'm just kind of showing you some different pictures and things. We went to the Nutcracker yesterday so I put those things in there and so I'm going to work on those pages in a little while. But first, I'm going to do page two, and page two um, talks about, oh, here's my new coffee mug. <laughs> Isn't he cute? I call him Snowy. He's an upside-down snowman. I got him at Michael's. Anyway, so I'm going to be um, doing a page where I'm talking about us decorating for Christmas, and it was at least a three-and-a-half-day situation. <laughs> it's a lot of stuff. So I'm taking a piece of acetate from an old collection. Everything that I use in my December daily is from old Christmas stuff that I have. So if I don't tell you the manufacturer, it's because I've forgotten and I've thrown away the packaging. Um, and my idea is to not over embellish things. I don't want this to take me forever to do. Um, and because I pre-planned the album slightly, um, this, this, at least this page only took me like maybe 30 minutes to do. So, um, but I do want to add some character to the page. So I am going to work on that journaling card at the bottom, and I have a picture of me and my daughter standing by our Christmas tree, and I am going to mount that small photo that I printed on my selfie on a piece of uh, white cardstock. And I think going forward, when I'm printing my photos and I'm resizing them, or just even the four by six, for some reason, it's at least an eighth of an inch small on all sides. And so it doesn't fit snugly into the pocket. And so I decided just to trim the photo down and then just make, um, just mount it on a, on a piece of white cardstock and, and cut it to the size that I needed to fit in those pockets. So, all right. And so now um, I went ahead and did that and I'm going to adhere that photo on a tag. And that brown tag is by American Crafts, and I'm going to uh, title this layout Deck the Halls, and I'm using a font by um, Amy Tangerine, that little circle font, which is super cute. Looks like type script. And then I'm going to pull out some thickers um, fonts, and this is called Sicily, and I'm going to spell halls with that. And the small turquoise font that you see there is from Studio G. And I think it's called the, from the Boy Collection or something like that. So I'm going to go ahead and adhere that down. And that's going to kind of serve as my title for this layout. And the font that I'm putting on is really cute and glittery. Perfect for the holiday season. It kind of goes with the stars that's on the acetate that I adhere to that red stripe, red and white stripe paper. And what I kind of want to convey to this is just we love decorate. Well, let me rephrase that. I love decorating for <laughs> Christmas. My little girl loves decorating for Christmas. My sweetheart is on the fence about it. Um, we currently live with my mom and she has a lot of Christmas stuff, so it can be kind of overwhelming getting all of her goodies out, but we have fun. And it took a while. We had to take a break <laughs> after putting out so much, so much Christmas stuff. All right, so I'm going to readjust the font and get that good to go. Those little font stickers are quite tiny and kind of hard to maneuver. And then I'm going to add three ellipses at the end of the halls, of the word halls, from that thickers um, set. I always have so many of those little dots or periods left over, so I figure I might as well just use them up. All right, and now at this point, I'm deciding what I want to do with the rest of the page. I'm not, again, going to do a lot of heavy embellishing um, on the page. I'm going to do a lot of journaling in this album, which is why I like doing mini albums, because um, I don't have to do so much embellishing. I'm going to turn my attention to the journaling card that's at the top left, and I decide that journaling card's not going to work because I want to put that banner there, and so I'm going to take um, some of my... Becky Higgins journaling cards, which are uh, four by six. I'm going to cut it down to a three by four. That way I can use the embellishment on there and it looks good. It's not interfering with the, the other design on the other card. So I switched that out. And I'm going to take some stickers. These are some old stickers from, I believe, Jenny Bolin and their journaling stickers. And I'm going to place one on that photo. And that's a photo of my daughter's Princess Tiana ornament that she got from her grandmother. And then this picture is of my husband um, <laughs> pretending to tell off this 
Santa Claus that my mom has in her kitchen. <laughs> he has a habit of arguing with inanimate objects. So I, I don't know. I just love him. He's cute. And I guess that's why I stick around. <laughs> so it's funny to tell those little goofy moments that he has. He's such a nerd. I don't know exactly what he was saying there, but it was quite funny. All right, so I'm going to put a circle journaling tag on that photo, and I'm thinking I'm going to use the little piece that I cut off, and then I decided that just looked goofy, so I'll probably use it for something else. So I'm going to pull those little font stickers again from Studio G out, and I'm going to spell out Tiana on the top journaling tag on that Tiana picture, and then I'm going to put um, Odad on the photo of my husband. He's always up to something goofy. All right, and then I'm going to put um, cute girl at the bottom. This is a photo of my kiddo decorating the tree. She's standing on her little step stool, and she's putting on ornaments. I'm going to take that journaling card again that I put that cute banner on, and I'm going to put a wood veneer banner that says Holly Jolly. And that is from the Recollections uh, brand from Michaels. And I'm journaling here just saying this is one of our favorite things to do every Christmas, decorate. Um, Rennie helped Dad pull out all the trims and things. Um, she insisted on hanging her, to or her toy ornaments, which also includes um, Hello Kitty. So <laughs> We have Hello Kitty on our tree as well. Um, decorating took three and a half days. Um, that's because Grandma has a lot of stuff. So that's what I put on there. So I'm going to put everything back in the pocket. And my normal process when I'm dealing with pocketed scrapbooking is I will put things in the pocket, take it out, put it in, take it out. And when I'm doing the 12 by 12 pocketed scrapbooking, I made myself a template <laughs> so I wouldn't do that. Um, but I didn't do it for these because there was just so many different designs. All right, so I'm showing you the different cards. Again, I'm trying to keep this simple and keep the focus on the story that I'm trying to convey. I think overall it turned out pretty cute. And um, I'm just doing this one memory at a time. I'm not focused on doing this every single day. Um, I'm just going to record the memories as, they, as we make them. So I'm going to go ahead and pop this in my album and see how it's going to look. And um, have a look at this. And I'm thinking so far so good. So here's the front the beginning part of the album so far. And you guys have seen this in a previous video. And then here's the first layout, which you've seen. And that, unfortunately, that process video just like disappeared. <laughs> no, I actually, I accidentally deleted it. So I'll take the blame. And that's me and Snowy, the, my coffee mug that I love so much. We have tons of coffee mugs here, Christmas coffee mugs. And then here's page number two that I just uh, showed you, just did, went through the process of. I will show you the complete finished product when I when I do the finish the album towards the end of the month. Have a good day guys and I'll see you next time.